Gregor Mendel, an Austrian scientist, teacher, and Augustinian friar experimented with pea plants to understand inheritance and genetics. Today, we will study an allele, one of two or more forms of a gene. Mendel's experiments with pea plants suggested that two units or alleles exist for every gene. Alleles maintain their integrity in each generation, and in the presence of the dominant allele, the recessive allele is hidden and makes no contribution to the phenotype. Therefore, recessive alleles can be carried and not expressed by individuals. Incomplete dominance denotes the expression of two contrasting alleles such that the individual displays an intermediate phenotype. For example, in the snapdragon, a cross between a homozygous parent with white flowers and a homozygous parent with red flowers will produce offspring with pink flowers. A variation on incomplete dominance is codominance in which both alleles for the same characteristic are simultaneously expressed in the heterozygote. An example of codominance is the MN blood groups of humans. Although individual humans and all diploid organisms can only have two alleles for a given gene, multiple alleles may exist at the population level such that many combinations of two alleles are observed. An example of multiple alleles is coat color in rabbits. A large proportion of genes in an individual's genome is essential for survival. Occasionally, a non-functional allele for an essential gene can arise by mutation and be transmitted in a population. Recessive lethal is an inheritance pattern in which an allele is only lethal in the homozygous form and in which the heterozygote may be normal or have some altered non-lethal phenotype. Dominant lethal alleles are very rare because this type of allele only lasts one generation and is not transmitted. However, Dominant lethal alleles might not be expressed until adulthood. An example of this in humans is Huntington's disease. Have you understood the difference between a dominant and a recessive allele? Share what you learned in the comment section and share this video with your friends. 